index number the first chapter of 12th standard statistics this is a very interesting chapter this chapter is of 12 marks in your board exam 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 which is equal to 12 marks so it is also a 12 mark chapter what exactly is index number let's understand this with some example Two thousand nineteen. I am not taking twenty deliberately because it was the year of disaster for us, pandemic. So two thousand ten and two thousand twenty. Say price of this commodity fifty rupees, and this commodity is uh, let's say. Um, 80 rupees now price of this commodity a and b in 2010 was rupees 50 and rupees 80 respectively in 2019 this price okay became 75 and this price became over year has become 1150 now let's see the change in price okay let's see the change in price so the change or increase in price now over year the price has increased by rupees 25 and over here in item b the price has increased by 35 so now you tell me in the chat box that kiska price zyada badh gaya now, now over here we all can see that 35 seems a higher number so obviously the increase in price for item b is by 35 rupees as compared to a which is by 25 rupees so in absolute terms absolute yani sirf plus minus karke in absolute term or absolute difference we will say that b has a higher increase in price but here we cannot take absolute difference because because dono ka basic price jo hai 2010 ka wo alag hai say for example a and b student a hai aur student b hai student a 30 mark ke paper mein se 25 mark lata hai aur student b 50 mark ke paper mein 25 मार्क लाता है तो क्या दोनों स्टूडेंट का परफॉर्मेंस सेम है कौन बेटर है इसमें ए बेटर ए बेटर है ऑब्वियसली तो जब हम कंपेयर करते हैं तो हम एब्सोल्यूट टर्म में कंपेयर नहीं करते हैं हम हमेशा कंपेयर करते हैं इन रिलेटिव टर्म आई यूज द वर्ड रिलेटिव रिलेटिव यानी मेहमान नहीं रिलेटिव नहीं रिलेटिव यानी कंपेयर करने का इन रिलेशन टू सो वेन आई कंपेयर द प्राइजेस फॉर ए एंड बी रिलेटिवली आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट वॉट इज द परसेंटेज इंक्रीज इन प्राइस सो फॉर परसेंटेज इंक्रीज 
or we use the word relative increase okay relative for relative increase in price what we do is we see ki kitna pratishat price increase hua to relative increase mein yahan pe tum dekh sakte ho ki 75 ho gaya tha kitna 50 to 50 divided by so so 75 ho gaya 50 mein se इन टू हंड्रेड और यहाँ पे वन वन फाइव एटी था वन वन फाइव हो गया इन टू हंड्रेड सो वी फाइंड आउट वॉट वी गेट इज कैल्सी उठाओ सेवेंटी फाइव डिवाइड बाई फिफ्टी करो इन टू हंड्रेड करो इट कम्स टू वन और यहाँ पे वन वन फाइव डिवाइड बाई 80 करो सो इट इन टू हंड्रेड वन वन फाइव डिवाइड बाई एटी इन टू हंड्रेड इट कम्स टू वन फोर्टी थ्री पॉइंट सेवेंटी फाइव तो यहां पे यू कैन सी दैट फिफ्टी परसेंट नो बोथ आर इक्वल इज रॉन्ग यहां पे द प्राइस हैज इंक्रीज बाय फिफ्टी परसेंट but your price has increased by 143.7 have increased by only 43.75 now ye jo comparison hai us hisab se a ka price zyada percentage se increase ho gaya as compared to b you all agree now you all agree so yes. If we go for absolute difference, तो comparison में absolute difference कोई काम का नहीं है We have to see the relative difference. Now, 50% increase over year, ध्यान दो And 43.75% increase over year. पर हम क्या करते हम लेते हैं everything is the base as 100 कि जब price 50 था वेन प्राइस वॉज फिफ्टी आई टेक अ बेस ऑफ हंड्रेड जब फिफ्टी था तो बेस हंड्रेड है तो सेवेंटी फाइव है तो अब ये कितना हो जाएगा तो पचास से पचहत्तर हो गया फिफ्टी से सेवेंटी फाइव हो गया तो हंड्रेड से कितना हो गया तो हम क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई करते एंड वी गेट सेवेंटी फाइव इन टू हंड्रेड divide by 50 that is how we got this 75 upon 50 into 100 now index number ka ek aur naam hai aur wo naam hai price relative so likh do please price relative so price relative means basically index number now over here the percentage change is what we have to see so if i want to compare i have to always go for relative measures now index number denoted by symbol i denoted by symbol i is equal to dhyan do please pi upon p0 or p1 upon p0 into 100 where pi is equal to price of current year jaise tumne dekha yahan pe this 75 is price of this current or the latest year and p0 is equal to price of base year base year yani wo saal jis saal se hum isko compare kar rahe hain now ye base year ek theoretical question bhi hai i'll come to it later first you please write 
all these things what i have written on the white screen any doubt please ask this is the formula your first formula uh continue writing the formulas so we'll write the first formula that is fixed base index number now fixed base index number is i is equal to p1 upon p0 into 100 now p1 is equal to price of current year and p0 is equal to price of base year now let's understand the meaning of the word base year now base year base year yani wo saal okay base year yani wo saal jiske sath hum alag alag saal ko compare karenge so for example let's say base year is 2010 we will compare 2011 2012 2013 2014 with reference to the base year for example 12th mein jo tumhara result aaya tumhare parents ne compare kiya with 10th standard to unhone base kya liya 10th standard liya samajh mein aaya what is a base year base year wo year hai jiske sath hum har ek saal ko compare karte hain all of you understood what is base year Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, now, ध्यान दो. Base year कौन सा select करना है हमें? Can you select year 2020, the year of lockdown, the year of pandemic as a base year? Can you do that? दो no. अंक को हम बेस ईयर ले सकते हैं 2020 कैन वी टेक इट एज द बेस ईयर वी कैन नॉट बिकॉज 2020 वाज अ पैंडेमिक ईयर इट वाज अ एब नॉर्मल ईयर इट वाज अ ईयर ऑफ लॉकडाउन्स इंडियन इकोनॉमी नो स्टाइल नॉर्मल इयर इज टेकन एज अ बेस इयर ऑल ऑफ यू अग्री विथ मी तो बेस इयर वो इयर होना चाहिए जहां पे कोई भी नेचुरल जैसे कि ड्राउट फेमाइन फ्लड्स हरिकेन्स ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं आना चाहिए जो कॉमोडिटी के बारे में हम बात कर रहे हैं वो उससे अफेक्टेड होना नहीं चाहिए जो उससे अफेक्ट होता है वो अफेक्ट होना नहीं चाहिए जैसे मैंगोज uh, तो मैंगोज में दिस ईयर वॉज अ एबनॉर्मल ईयर बिकॉज ऑफ टॉपे स्टॉम क्या हो गया थाउजेंड्स ऑफ मैंगो और चार्ड ट्रीज वर डिस्ट्रॉय तो हम इसको बेस ईयर फॉर प्रोडक्ट फॉर प्राइजेस ऑफ मैंगोज नहीं ले सकते हैं क्योंकि ये एक एबनॉर्मल ईयर था तो हम बेज ईयर में कोई नेचुरल जैसे कि स्टॉम हरिकेन फ्लड पेमाइन ड्राउट या फिर कोई मैन मेड जैसे कि वॉर मैन मेड जैसे कि वॉर 
रायट स्ट्राइक प्रोटेस्ट नेशन वाइड लॉकडाउन अब ये वुहान वायरस सॉरी कोविड नाइनटीन वायरस उसको मैन मेड में गिनना है या नेचुरल में गिनना है वो दुनिया का सबसे बड़ा डिबेट है अभी चाइना कहता है कि हमारा हाथ नहीं है वेस्टर्न वर्ल्ड कहता है कि ये मैन मेड वायरस वुहान के लैब से रिलीज हुआ इन शॉर्ट वो मैन मेड हो या नेचुरल हो हमारे लिए तो एबनॉर्मल ईयर निकल गया ना हुई नवरात्रि ना हुई दिवाली ना बर्थडे सेलिब्रेशन सिर्फ निकला दिवाला तो ऐसा कोई भी साल को हम बेस ईयर लेंगे नहीं समझ में आ गया सबको दिस कैन कम एज अ वन मार्क क्वेश्चन विच ईयर शुड बी योर बेस ईयर समझे गए वो बदा ने एनी डाउट ओके नाउ फिक्स बेस में हम क्या करते हैं बेस को सेम रखते हैं इसको सेम रखते हैं और हर एक साल को कंपेयर करते हैं पर कितनी बार हम फिक्स बेस नहीं ले सकते तो हम जाते हैं फॉर चेन बेस नाउ व्हाट इज चेन बेस इंडेक्स नंबर नाउ चेन बेस इंडेक्स नंबर का इंडेक्स इज इक्वल टू प्राइस ऑफ करंट ईयर अपॉन प्राइस ऑफ प्रीवियस ईयर तो यहां पे P0 जीरो इज नॉट प्राइज ऑफ बेज ईयर इट इज ऑफ प्रीवियस ईयर 2010 में जो प्राइस था उसके साथ अब मैं 2019 को नहीं कंपेयर करना चाहता अरे नौ साल पुरानी बात है तो 2011 को मैं 10 के साथ कंपेयर करूंगा 12 को मैं 11 के साथ कंपेयर करूंगा इले... फिर 13 को मैं 12 के साथ कंपेयर करूंगा तो अब मेरा प्रीवियस ईयर इज बेसिकली विथ हूम आई एम कंपेयरिंग इट्स लाइक अ चेंज कि तुम्हारा 10 का रिजल्ट 10 का रिजल्ट 9 के साथ 11 का रिजल्ट 10 के साथ 12 का रिजल्ट 11 के साथ एफ वाई का रिजल्ट 12 के साथ एस वाई का रिजल्ट एफ वाई के साथ समझ में आया डिफरेंस तो फर्स्ट फिक्स बेस एंड द सेकंड वन इज चेन बेस यस समन आस्ट डाउट यस सर बोलो बेटा सर अगर हम प्रीवियस ईयर छे तो व्हाट इफ दैट्स अ ईयर ऑफ एबनॉर्मलिटी अ सी ईयर देयर इज नो कंपैरिजन विद द वन ईयर पर्टिकुलर ईयर व्हिच इज द बेस ईयर सो 2021 आवर इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ our gdp is compared with 2020 and we are saying that we are growing it's a v shape recovery so your previous year is with whom we are comparing the same thing happens in stock market tithi uh, in stock market yesterday's index is compared with today's index and we say market up 500 points 300 points 200 point one day the market fell 1000 point but next day they will say market risen by 500 points so that is chain based every day we are taking previous day as our base so that is why here we don't have the concept that base year normal year only previous year and i would say chain base is a better index to see because who wants to see what was the what was the price in 2010 I'm not bothered. I have to see this from my pocket. How much money will go out as compared to the previous year? So that is why we have chain based index number. Understood this? Yes, sir. Okay. All of you have written this. Is it written all the formulas? Likliya sabne. Yes, sir. 
illustration one we are going to start with it so that we understand the basic concept of index number now illustration one let's read the data about wholesale prices of wheat in a region are as follows taking the year 2005 as the base year 2005 underline is the base year this year 2005 prepare the index number for the price of the item for the remaining years state the percentage increase in the price of wheat in the year 2030 from these index numbers okay so now we have to find index for all so write the heading and please start writing the question you leave one line blank after each or you have to stretch on your right hand side so 2005 2006 2007 8 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13. Price per quintal. Now over here, once you write the question, always match it. Once you write these information as a solution, always match it with the question. Okay? So if you question, it has not been written in Just take it once again. Correct. Okay? This type of sum can come for two marks. Okay? Now, 2005 year is our base year. So I'll highlight it. Now for the base year, index number. Now for the first year, what we have to do is PI or P1 is basically price of current year. So I'll use a small i. Okay. So price of current year is 1650 upon price of base year is 1650 into 100 is equal to obviously 100. 1650 upon 1650 is 1 into 100 is 100. So base for the base year index is always going to remain 100 for the base year. Now, 2006, 1690, divide by, now subco, we have to compare with 1650 in 200, which is equal to, so can see 1690 divided by 1650, directly you can press percentage, so 102.42. Then again 1730 divided by 1650 in 200. One zero four point eight four eight. So one zero four point eight five. Then one seven five zero divided by one six five zero in 200 106.06 then 1810 divide by 1650 in 200 which is equal to 109 0.696 or so 0.70 1850 
divide by 1650 into 100 which is equal to One one two point one two one eight seven zero divided by one six five zero into hundred. One one three point three three one nine zero zero divided by one six five zero into hundred. Which is equal to one one five point one five one nine five zero divided by one six five zero into hundred. One one eight point one eight. So these are the various indexes we have got. Something very important I want to discuss. So please finish this off and just wait a while. There is a question over here. That state the percentage increase in the price of wheat for the year 2013. So here we need to write the answer Now the answer is, you can see that the index over here is 118.18. So here we write, since the index number in the year 2013 is 118.18, prices have increased by 18.18% prices have increased by 18.18% all of you understood this now Diando, please. Diando. Now, let's say if index number is one hundred eighty. What can we say about this index number 180? We can say that the prices have increased by 80%. If someone says that prices have increased by 10%, What is the index? If prices have increased by 10%, what is the index? Can you tell me what will be the index? 110. 110. Any doubt, anyone? Any doubt, anyone? ये कॉन्सेप्ट सबको पता चलना चाहिए अगर नहीं पता चलेगा तो आगे बहुत दिक्कत होगी ओके नाउ लेट मी यूज सम टेक्स्ट दिस ड्राइंग इज नॉट वर्किंग
if prices have decreased by 20%, what will be the index? Can anyone tell me? 80. Yes. Others, you can unmute yourself and speak. Sir, 80. 80. 80, yes, very good. So, 100 is our base. So, 100 may increase to 100 plus or decrease to 100 minus. Is this clear? Is this clear? So, if prices have decreased by 20%, so 100 minus 20 is 80. If prices have increased by 20%, so 100 plus 20, which is 120. Ye dhyan mein rakna, phir hum aage isme aur thoda bahut complications dekhenge. Now, come to illustration 4. Chain base. Come to illustration 4. Chain base. Let's do a sum of chain base index number. Now, over here, the data about bi monthly, yane half monthly, closing prices of shares of a company in the year 2014 are given. Compute chain base index number from the data. Compute chain base index number from the data. So let's compute now. Nothing is given over here directly. No base, nothing required because previous year he pakad ke chalna hai. Let's write the question. Month, January, then March, then May, then July, then September, and then November. Tum log aisa ho to ek ek line chhod ke likhna. Because P1 upon P0 to me karna. Now prices 22, 21.20, 22, 23, 24.70, and 26. Now chain base index number hai. So for the first year, Price of current year and price of previous year remains the same. So that comes to 100. Directly we can write 100. Then for the month of March, 21.2 divided by 22 into 100. 21.2 divided by 22 into 100, which is 96. 0 0.3636 three, so 36 then twenty two divide by what now twenty one point two or twenty two twenty one point Yes, price of the previous year, so 21.2 into 100, which is equal to 103.77 then 23 divided by previous month 22 into 100 which is equal to 0.3636 0.545 so 55.55 then 24.7 divided by 23 into 100 
is equal to 107.39 107.39 and then 26 divided by 24.7 into 100 which is equal to 105.26 So now this is chain based. What we have done over here, I'll just show it to you over here. First we took 22 ke samne directly 100 then 21.2 divide by 22 22 divide by 21.2 23 divide by 22 24.7 divided by 23 and 26 divided by 24.7 and we got all these indices. Illustration 1, what we did was we kept this 1650 as our base. So everywhere you can see 1650 say we have compared kiya. This limitation is that you compare remote pass ke data se aap compare karke koi matlab hai nahi. So you can see this. So this is fixed base. Base ho gaya fixed. And this one is chain base. The previous year we keep on taking. Here 21.2 idhar tha. Ab idhar a gaya denominator mein. Pe 22 numerator se denominator mein. 23. 24.7 so that's how we find out fixed base and chain base now come to extremely important sum that is exercise 1.1 question number two Oh, just wait. Let me confirm the question. Okay. Uh, it is question number one. Sorry. Exercise 1.1 question number one. Not two. Take exercise 1.1 question number one. So exercise 1.1, question number one. Okay. Now let's see the question. This is the important question for your exam. The data about average daily wage of group of workers employed in a factory in a city during the year 2008 to 2015 are as follows. Find the index number one fixed base method taking base year as 2008 second Chain based method. So, yeah, but the problem in a chain base. So, previous year, first year, always 100. And third one important fixed based method by taking average of average daily wages for the years 2011 to 2013 as the wage of base year. Now, third term, 
नॉर्मल एफबीआई और सीबीआई यानी फिक्स बेस इंडेक्स और चेन बेस इंडेक्स कर लेते हैं सो लेट्स राइट द क्वेश्चन हाँ बोलो बोलो यहाँ दीप नौ एवरेज डेली वेज टू एटी फोर टू एटी नाइन टू नाइंटी थ्री टू नाइंटी सेवन थ्री वन थ्री थ्री टू एट एंड थ्री फोर फाइव Now, over here. Yando, please. Over here. Always, once you write the question in the answer sheet, you always check whether you have taken the proper numbers or not. Now, two thousand eight is taken as the base year, so let me highlight it. Now. Fixed index number with base two thousand eight. So two seventy five divided by two seventy five into hundred, which is hundred. Now many students have a habit of directly doing in the calculator and writing the answer. Don't do that. You see the illustration. Calculations are shown, so you also have to show the calculations. This is important. Directly calculate. Don't do that. You have to write all these things. 284 divided by 275 into 100. One zero three point two seven. Two eighty nine. Again divide by 275 into 100. One zero five point zero nine two ninety three divided by two seventy five into hundred one zero six point four five four five five so four one zero six point five four five so five five then two ninety seven. Divide by two seventy five into hundred. One zero seven point nine nine. So one zero eight. Then three one three divide by two seventy five into hundred. One one three point eight one eight so eight two. Three twenty eight divide by two seventy five into hundred. One one nine point two seven two two seven and three forty five divided by two seventy five into hundred. One twenty five point four five four four five. So this is how. You find the fixed base index number. You can see all the numbers are divided by 275. Now chain base for the first year we take it as 100. For the next year again is going to remain same. Then for the next year. 
289 divided by now 284 into 100 289 divided by 284 into 100 is 101.76 then 293 divided by 289 previous year in 200 101.38297 divided by 275 108 so 297 divided by 293 in 200 Point three six five, so six six. Three six five, so three six five, so three seven. Then three one three, divided by two ninety seven, in two hundred. One zero five, point. Three nine, three eight seven, so three nine. Then three twenty eight divided by three one three into hundred. One zero four point seven nine and three forty five. Divide by two seventy five into hundred. Sir, divide by three twenty eight. Sorry, divide by three twenty eight into hundred. One zero five point one eight. so now you can see that the chain based index number and fixed base index number we have found out and yes there are deviation between both of them because the method is different here we have taken everywhere 275 but here we have taken the previous year wage as our base for every year's index number now we found out fixed base we found out chain base now the third one is fixed base method by taking average of average daily wages of the years 2011 to 2013 as the wage of base year now hum kya karte koi ek saal ko base lena thoda difficult ho jata hai because some or the other thing always happens so what we take is we take average of 3 years as our base so 2011 2012 and 2013 so what we have to do is we have to just add this number so 293 plus 297 plus 313 divide by 3 which is equal to 293 plus 297 Plus three one three is nine zero three divided by three, which is equal to three zero one. So now our new base is three zero one. So now we have to divide all of them by three zero one. If it was given two years. Say so eleven and twelve, so we would have taken two ninety three plus two ninety seven divided by two. If we are given four years, so divide by four. This three zero one will become our base now. So let's write that. 
So the uh, question me they have given average of average. हाँ इल्ले आ एवरेज चल जो एवरेज प्लीज का एवरेज कैसे अरे एवरेज ऑफ एवरेज डेली वेजेस सो दिस आर द एवरेज डेली वेजेस एंड वी हैव टू टेक एवरेज ऑफ दिस थ्री इयर्स इट लेट्स प्रॉपर्ली डन क्या लाइव होता है यस हाँ एवरेज ऑफ एवरेज इट ले ऑलरेडी एवरेज इस गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन सो वी हैव टू टेक एवरेज ऑफ � Every daily wage which is given. Got it? Got it? Yeah, yes. Okay. Now, all of you, please write this heading. Index number taking average wage of 11 to 13 as our base. Which is equal to 301. So 301 is our base now. So let's start with the first year. Now, kisi ko koi doubt hai yahan tak? FBI, CBI sabko pata chal gaya? Hello, hello? All of yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Okay, now, yes, sir. over here for the third part of the question. Okay. We start with for the first year. So, Average daily wage is 275. So here we have to take 275 divided by 301 into 100, which is equal to Then, 284. If confusion, I'll hide this for a while. Okay? So, 284. Divide by 301 into 100, which is equal to 2.5. Point three five. Then two eighty nine divided by three zero one into hundred. So now our new base is three so eight. Okay. Ninety six point zero. Six point zero one. Then two ninety three. Divide by 301 into 100, which is 97.34. Yeah, 97.34. Then 297 divided by 301. Which is equal to 98.67. 313 divided by 301 into 100, which is equal to 103.986, so 99. 328 divided by 301 into 100, which is equal to 108 108.97. 345 divided by 301 in 200, which is equal to 114.617, so 62. So now we get this third part over here. That's it. Now we have seen fixed base index number, 
we have seen chain base index number and then we have seen index number taking a base of multiple years or average of those years as our base so these three we have seen Any doubt anyone? All of you understood how it is to be done? Sif calculation has simple calculations. Now you write the homework. Homework is exercise 1.1, question number two. Please write this. Exercise 1.1, question number two, then uh, let me see the other exercise. Then you do section B, D, section D. Question number eight, section D. Question number eight. Illustration. Illustration number three. Illustration we will do tomorrow. So illustration number three. Then illustration number five. Yeah, that's it. 